Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Wedding Ready with me, Ra Manola. Today I've got a very different video for you guys, hence why I look so formal. I guess some of you are probably like, Whoa, why are you so formal on your channel? It's a year today that Harry and Meghan got married and I'm going to be covering 10 things we're not quick to forget about the royal wedding. Let's be honest, the wedding was goals. The wedding was covered around the world and everyone and the mother and the grandmother and the sister was up waiting and anticipating this wedding. And if you guys live under a rock, Prince Harry is a prince in England. He's sixth in line to the throne and Meghan Markle was an actress. She's well known in the United States. And this wedding was very peculiar because of a number of things um, that I'm not gonna mention in this video, but it was just a very controversial wedding. But I love every single bit of this wedding. I wasn't able to talk about this wedding last year because I was so engrossed in the wedding but this year I was like let me take the opportunity to go down memory lane with you guys so if you guys want to go down memory lane of royal wedding then by all means you know keep watching this video before we start the video please don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel with almost 10,000 subscribers so please subscribe hit that bell notification button so that you are alerted every time I release a video and let's get straight into this video guys so I just want to say happy anniversary to Megan and Harry you're probably not gonna get to see this video but if you do get to see this video that'll be amazing and congratulations on the arrival of your baby boy Archie so the first thing that we're not quick to forget about the real wedding is their pre-wedding pictures. Their pre-wedding pictures were so bomb. I mean that dress that Meghan wore was absolutely stunning. It was so elegant. Absolutely beauty and simplicity. Like that's a pre-wedding shoot. Like I'm not just saying it because it's them, but there was just something so elegant and just genuine about those pictures that I absolutely love. After the pre-wedding show, the next moment of the real wedding that we're not quick to forget was Megan's wedding dress. Megan's wedding dress was very controversial. Everyone was anticipating what she was going to wear for the wedding. There were sketches, there were suggestions, there were guesses. You know, everyone was talking about it and getting excited and I feel like Everyone kind of got a bit let down by the dress. Yeah, I, I personally feel like the dress was wearing her and she wasn't wearing the dress. It was very plain, there was just nothing. And yeah, I think everyone was like, mm. Hmm. And then obviously there are people that like the dress, which there's nothing wrong with that. The dress apparently cost £200,000. I don't know how true that is, but if it was, then... I did like her veil. I felt like her veil was beautiful. It had some Commonwealth countries on the veil. I thought that was a really good touch that she added to that. And also comment down below if you guys liked her dress or not. I'd like to know. So after the dress, the next epic moment from the royal wedding that we're not quick to forget is the look that Harry gave her in the church. That look has turned into memes for days. So many people are saying, oh, I wish, you know, someone looks at me like this. And there's just so many memes that cracked me up about that. But it was just such a beautiful look. He looked like he had tears in his eyes and it was just so, oh, so dreamy. And all the girls are like, oh. All right, so after the look, the next epic moment of the royal wedding last year is the first kiss. It was so swoon worthy and it was just, oh. I don't know, it's just, it's just, just when words make you want to get married. But yeah, it was just so gorgeous. Um, oh. The next epic moment of the real wedding last year is the guest. The guests at this wedding were giving us fashion inspiration. Everyone was just on their phones, like retweeting the Beckhams, Emma Clooney, everyone having an opinion. Like we were all judging as if we were like Anna Wintour or something. The guests came through. We had Victoria and David Beckham looking so suave, looking so gorgeous. Oh, Beckhams. And then we had Amal and George Clooney looking really good. Oh, and then we had, who else did we have? Uh, we had Idris Elba and Sabrina. Her outfit was a bit questionable. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. Oprah looked gorgeous. Like that pink work mama mm. and then we had the cast of suits i love suits and i always watch suits so the cast of suits and just seeing them all there was just like harvey specter and then we had priyanka priyanka is such a boss we had priyanka with abigail when they were walking down and oh my gosh just everyone looks so beautiful and so classy so moving on after the guest the next um, epic moment from the royal wedding that we're not quick to forget is the choir So Royal Wedding Choir are called the Kingdom Choir. Just, just so, so talented. And just seeing the songs and everything, it just made me feel like I was in, um, you know, 
a church it was just so uh it was beautiful and i'm just so happy they had that you can tell that a lot of the guests were a bit confused i mean they, the choir took it to church they took it to church honestly i don't care what anyone says but that wedding did it for the culture did it for black culture all right so guys the next thing that we're not quick to forget about a real wedding is the preacher So the preacher at the real wedding was Archbishop Michael Curry and I loved his sermon. He just talked about coming together, he talked about love and you know, driving our hate. They chose him for a reason and he really talked about coming together as a human community and, and just when he talked about Martin Luther King, I was like rich. You can tell a lot of people were a bit uncomfortable but his message was just, yeah. There was a lot of obviously black empowerment, driving out race and just love and all of that and I feel like it was needed and it went on for ages as well. So you know, you guys know when you go to church, that is, that was literally a black preacher because it goes on for ages but i loved it all right guys so just quickly moving on the next thing that we're not quick to forget about the royal wedding is the second outfit I loved the second outfit when he changed and she changed. It just looks so Bond, you know, James Bond. I was just so pretty. Her second wedding dress was by Stella McCartney, a British fashion designer. It was stunning, it was simple, it was beautiful, it was elegant. They were giving me James Bond's theme. They were getting away, newly wed. I just loved that look. Like every picture from that look of them getting into the car was so beautiful. All right, guys, we're almost at the end, guys. The next epic moments from the royal wedding that we're not quick to forget is the picture at the royal house. That was so cute. Like when the pictures came out and it's tradition obviously for the royal family to take the pictures together. But it was so cute seeing like the little page boys and the flower girl and it was just such a beautiful picture and it was just being retweeted and retweeted. It was literally very viral and I just love that. I love that picture so much. So the last epic moment from the royal wedding that we're not quick to forget is Their honeymoon that we still don't know where they went. If you do know where they went for the honeymoon, please comment down below. It's the last on my list. I just figured I put it there. Hey. Yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for coming by my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Comment below, you guys, um, what you thought about the dress. Comment below any of the epic moments that I haven't mentioned that you remember from the royal wedding. Um, comment what you thought about the wedding. And yeah, just comment below and let's have a chat about the royal wedding. But yes, huge congrats and happy anniversary to obviously Prince Harry and Meghan and congrats on the arrival of their baby boy also you guys I'm having my summer bridal brunch now called London bridal brunch my event in London on the 14th of July please check out my Instagram link is going to be down below please come and support if you're a bride to be you will learn so much there'll be top wedding vendors or perform a bride there's going to be a call there's going to be cocktails there's going to be just a lot of inspiration to take your wedding to the next level so don't forget to follow me on my socials so where I'm on all I get wedding ready thank you guys for coming by my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in another video bye